What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Revival Blessing Palmot team. You guys are no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. Got to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers. You guys really helped me grow as a content creator. But before we get started here, you guys know by the time I'm uploading this, it is New Year's Eve. If you guys are watching this on a different day, hopefully you guys had a great holiday. Hopefully you guys are having a great holiday. And most importantly, hopefully you guys are staying safe. On this holiday but we can get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only palmot over here such a cool pokemon brand new in gen 9 it is electric and fighting and it has a brand new move which is revival blessing if you guys do not know what this does it can revive an ally pokemon from the dead so i think this move is really cool and it's definitely going to change vgc a little bit we just haven't been seeing it on the rank ladder as much it has volt absorb as its ability the focus Sash as its item and it's got close combat nuzzle for paralyze and speed control fake out for flinches and then that final move is going to be that revival blessing Second Pokemon is going to be Dragonite. Dragonite has been taken over the meta with the normal Terror type and the Choice Bandit Inner Focus. It is just phenomenal. This is the exact set we're running. It has Dragon Call, it has Giga Impact, Extreme Speed, and Rock Slide for its four moves. Third Pokemon is going to be Hydreigon, another Choice Pokemon, but this time this Pokemon is going to be Choice Specs. It has Levitate as its ability, Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Snarl, and Terror Blast for its moveset. Fourth Pokemon is one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon that is out. It's going to be King Gambit. It has Supreme Overlord as its ability and the Assault Vest as its item. Move set is phenomenal with Iron Head, Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch, and Brick Break. Bottom left hand corner is a Pokemon that's starting to see a little bit of more loving on the rank ladder. It's going to be Arbalava over here. Cool little grass type introduced in Gen 9 and has Seed Sour, which is a new ability. So when this Pokemon gets hit by a physical attack, it sets the grassy terrain on the field, which I think it's a really cool ability. I think it's really dope. It has Citrus Berry as item, Giga Drain, Leech Seed, Charm, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be Support, Splash, or Slash Solid Special Attacker. It's going to be Full Corona over here. With Flame Body as the ability, then it's got the Leftovers as item. It's got Heat Wave, Giga Drain, Quiver Dance to set up, and Protect for our final move. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that night double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Revival Blessing Paul Mott team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a semi trick room team here with Garchomp, Golden Go, and Miascarada. Then they have three a little bit off meta Pokemon with Gardevoir, Torkoal, and Kilowattrel. I feel like Torkoal is really only there to play up against trick room teams. So I don't really see him popping it unless Gardevoir has trick room on it and wants to pop it. But again, I don't really see that happening. I'm going to lead the Palm out here. I might also lead the Volcarona. Maybe try to set up a Quiver Dance because that could be really solid for us. I'm all about it. I'm going to go Kilowattrel. I'm going to go Palma here, and then I am going to bring in Dragonite, and I think Arbalava could be solid, but I might just bring King Gambit instead. I really like King Gambit. I feel like it can do some work. It has the uh, Dark type in the get after that Golden Go. It has the Steel type in the get after Gardevoir. I think it's just a solid pick. It's either that or Choice Spec Hydreigon, and I'm leaning more towards King Gambit, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. I'm going to like to grab ourselves a win here in match number one with this squad. But yeah, Palmat's super cool. I really do like Palmat, and usually when I'm running Palmat, I usually like to run it with Volt Switch, and this one doesn't have it. And the reason I like Volt Switch is because you can fake out, and then you can Volt Switch out and save your Revival Blessing Pokemon for like another turn. But I really like this Pokemon. I really do. Because it could be a front-end Pokemon, or it could be a back-end Pokemon. He's going to end up pop with Gardevoir and Kilowatt. So, multiple different options. A little scary. I feel like I have to fake out the Gardevoir, right? I feel like fake out has to come across onto the Gardevoir. I feel like we just have to Quiver Dance, right? That's the second window. I'm going to pop a nice little Quiver Dance. And we're just going to fake out the Gardevoir. I'll window all day. I do have the Focus Sash on this Palm out, which is solid. The fake out's going to come out here. Do a decent amount of damage. I really like that damage right there. That's solid damage. That one is going to come out here. I can deal with that. I don't mind it. And I could terrestrialize my my Volcarona here. Because if I had to guess, an Air Slash is probably coming in from Kilowattro and the Dazzling Gleam across the board as well. So I might Terra here. But I think he's straight fire terrestrialization. I could swap this Pokemon too. Into you wouldn't be bad. I, really like. I think I am going to go into you. And then I might just terrestrialize here. Into straight grass at us, and that's not good. I might just protect you. See how this one plays out here. Right? Should I protect this Pokemon? Obviously, Heat Wave wouldn't be bad, but I just. I'm just terrified. I'm just gonna protect. 
I'm terrified that the air slash is going to come in here alongside with the gleam and just take him out. So I'm going to go into my boy King Gambit and roll from there. So I'm going to protect the Volcarina and we'll, we'll see what he wants to do. And if I had to guess, like I said, Gleam, Moonblast, something like that. Psychic. Okay, so you're going after... Oh, you're going after my... Who are you going after? My Gambit? Yeah, he's going after my Gambit there with a the Psychic. That's not bad. I don't mind that. We're going after my Gambit. We protect that shot. I think we just go straight for an Iron Head here. <clears throat> or I can count that Cleave because I kind of want to. would rather get rid of this Kilowattrel. I could hard swap here, but I'm just going to go for a Heat Wave because our special defense is boosted, correct? Let me see. I think our special defense is boosted. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I think we should be able to eat up an Air Slash. Pop a nice level Heat Wave. Or I could go into a Giga Dream, but I like Heat Wave a bit more. I do see him swapping a Gardevoir, potentially. Yeah, that's exactly why I doubled down or went after the Kilowattro with the Kowtow Cleat. I think it's a solid turn. Let's see what he goes into. Oh, and the Golden. Oh, okay. I'm all about it. Air Slash again. We should be able to soak as long as there's no flinch. No flinch, please. And thank you. Awesome. Heat Wave's going to fly here. Bop. See you later, Golden Go. And now we're going to dump on the Kilowattro. So solid, solid plays from us. Swapping out the Palmot. Getting King Gambit in there at the perfect time. Reading the Protect Slash Withdrawal and protecting overall Corona. Everything is working out perfectly, and we're having a so solid match number one right now. There we go. And we have Leftovers. I totally forgot. Sans Leftovers, so we're going to get a little bit of HP back. Hopefully, he throws out a special attacker. One of them is going to be Gardevoir, which I can dump on at any time. He still has Terrestrialization, but I'm not too worried about it. So again, I have Paul Mott in the back end. I can revive somebody. I still have the Focus Ash on that Pokemon. I'm loving it. So let's see. Chomp's going to come out here. Um, I could Terra here. I could Terra. Or I could Protect, right? Would this be the last turn in Trick Room? Would this be the last turn in Trick Room? Let me see. Let me see. Check status. Or not Trick Room in Tailwind. It is. So, yeah. Definitely want to Protect the Volcarona just so we can grab speed later. I could Sucker Punch. Which would I rather Sucker Punch against? I could Terra into Steel, but it's not really going to do much. We know he wants to go for an EQ. We already know he wants to go for an EQ. I might just go into a Sucker Punch. And try to get rid of uh, Gardevoir. Gardevoir might protect here. He's going to tear the Chomp. I already know that's coming. I already know the Thrasilization of the Chomp's coming in here. I'm going to save my Terror type for, uh, for what's it called? For Dragonite. I think we're solid here. I really do think we're good. Again, I already knew he was Thrasilizing. He's going to Thrasilize the Garchomp. Go in the ground. Go in the free EQs, considering uh, Gardevoir's telepathy. He's probably going to take out my, uh, my, uh, blah, 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 what is that Pokemon called? My King Gambit, but King Gambit is going to be able to get off the Sucker Punch, which is going to be solid. And then we just protect Waste Out Tailwind. It's Volcarona will be fast on the field due to the Quiver Dance. I think we're thriving. Is he, are you Swords Dancing? He's Swords Dancing, bro. He's Swords Dancing. He's Swords Dancing. That is not good. That is not good. He's Swords Dancing. Wow, that's scary. Um, we still have speed, which is really good. I mean, I can just freely go after a chomp at this point. But we know he's popping EQ, which is terrifying. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. This is not good. I was not expecting him to go for that. Look, we have to get off as much damage as we can. I'm going to go here and I'm just going to pop a heat wave. Actually, I can go for a free Giga Dream. Get some HP back. I'm all about it. Sucker Punch comes through here. Doing some nice damage. I love you, King Gambit. Rough Skin's going to chip us up. It's totally fine. Giga Drain is going to fly. Actually, Gleam comes out here first. I'm surprised you outspeed. Unless you're choice. You have to be choice. Volcarona takes out with Giga Drain. That's amazing. And that's GG's. I'm going to go back up to almost full HP. Good game. Good game, kind sir slash lady. Great, great battle. Great battle. But yeah, that, that Garchomp was scaring me a little bit. It was definitely scaring me a little bit. Once it popped that Sword Chance, I was like, oh, no. But luckily, I was Quiver Dance, and that Giga Dream was able to do enough damage to KO that uh, Garchomp. But from here, we just pop a simple Iron Head. We'll go into a Heat Wave, get that Stab Boost on top of that, and that's game over. Battle was canceled. Second battle coming at you guys, and I just realized that first battle was a sweep. We got out Paul Mott, we swapped it out, and then King Gambit and Volcarona pretty much just swept out the rest of the battle. So, solid start for today's video. Like I said, we're hopping into our second battle, and we're going up against a semi-rain team with Pelipper and Azumarill. I gotta watch out for that, because... I want the Zoomerail to set up Belly Drum and just Aqua Jet in the rain and pretty much KO my whole team. So, who should I lead and how should I go into it? I feel like Palmot's another solid lead here. I could go Palmot. I could go in with you as well with Gambit. Volcarona's not bad again. But if they do set rain, that could be a problem. I might go into the Gambit or I might even go into you. 
I really do like you. We know Annihilate's probably coming out here for a lead, which is scary. I don't really know how to play up against that. But I am going to go... Dude, this is tough. This is tough. I don't like this. I'm, I'm still going to go Arbolova here. Uh, Dragonite Solid and then final Pokemon either... I think Gambit's going to be solid again. I like Gambit all around. I could lead Gambit. I could lead Gambit. You know, let's do that. Let's lead the Gambit. Just in case we want, we need a sucker punch into that, into that, uh, that annihilate. That could be really solid for us if we could just throw a sucker punch in that. Because I believe final gambit counts as a hitting move, right? So sucker punch should be able to come out there first, take it out, and kind of go from there. And then we have the palm out in the back end just in case he final gambit somebody and takes me out. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Let's have Arbolova, and I would love to set up some lead seeds with this Pokemon. And I like doesn't come out here, but we can still seed up. I don't mind dropping a little seed action. So from here, uh, what do I want to do? Geeky Drain or uh, Leech Seed's definitely a play. Definitely want to Leech Seed you. Pop a nice little Leech Seed into that Pokemon. And then I could Iron Head. I could Brick Break. I think I'm just going to Brick Break here. I think he stays dark, right? Makes some sense. Mimic you can do its thing. Might throw some burns on me, which could be scary. This thing's gonna change into fighting. Wow, I thought I was I thought I was using brick break. <laughs> what? What's going on? I'm dead. I'm dead, no problem. He just dumped on me. That's kinda scary. Drain punch can come out here. That's super effective because we are part normal type. But I pop a nice little seed sour now, which I love. Now let me pop some seeds, baby. Lead seed coming out here, so solid. We pop some lead seeds. We're getting some HP recovery back like crazy. That kinda sucks though. I lost my gambit. I mean, obviously, the play now would just be uh, popping Dragonite and E speed out, right? Probably your best bet. Because look at all the HP we get back. It's lovely. Could go into Palm I could drop a Revival Blessing. But I say we save it. I say we save it. I say we save it. I think now would be a great time to go into Dragonite. Choice into an E speed. Could have Annihilate, which could be very, very bad for us. Could be bad for us. Could definitely be bad for us. At this point, I'm just going to Giga Drain, get rid of that, and... I just want to choice into... I just want to choice into this Dragon Call, just in case he swaps. Let's see what he does. I think if he has an Eye in the back end, he would swap into it, correct? Double Ghost on the field? That's what I'm scared of. No, I'm just going to go for a knockoff. Take off my choice, man. That's not bad. I get off a nice, lovely Dragon Call here. Chipping up some nice damage. And I can survive another shot. Phantom Force coming in here. Okay. So he dips out. I still have Palmot in the back end. Palmot's going to be nice for us. Palmot is going to be nice. I think we still get the lead sheet HP, which is wonderful. And I can definitely see him doubling down into my Dragonite at this point. As much as I want to swap, could be good for us. But yeah, yo, lead sheet's where it's at. Lead sheet's where it's at, but we're sitting in a tough position here. Obviously, I want to go for Giga Drain in that slot, and I'll just go for another Dragon Claw. Yeah, I'm with it. Let's see what he does from here. I have a feeling like Masquerade has got to get the swap, right? Masquerade has got to get the swap here. Hmm. This is tough. This is tough. This is going to be a tough battle. I, I should have Terrastalized because I could have just taken out the... Well, I probably should just E-Speed there. Why, why wouldn't I E-Speed there? I'm not choice anymore. That was a dumb play by me. Real dumb play. I could just E-Speed and taken out that... uh. Now what's gone? Wow, that did, that did a little bit too much damage. I do have my Citrus Berry though. Yeah, I could have just East Speed and taken him out, but this this works fine. Dragon Claw fly through here. Bang, see you later. And where who is Mimikyu going after? Phantom Force can come into you. Okay, that's fine. We still eat, which is rather well. And plus we're gonna get some Giga Drain HP back here. Actually, do we get anything back if we hit on the disguise? I hope we get a little bit. Did we get nothing? We get nothing for that. That's ridiculous. I will get the lead seed back. I will get this. Wow, we're going to go close to full. I can protect if need be. And I might just leave Mimikyu on the field because he's not really posing that big of a threat to me. I think we can just thrive after it, right? He's not really posing that big of a threat and we can just use it for an HP leech. We'll see his next Pokemon. It is going to be Annihilate here. Annihilate is going to come out here. I could terrestrialize you in straight fire and just pop a seed onto that. Or I could just Giga Drain. 
Um, I am going to Terrasize in the fire. Because if I had to guess, he's going to come after me. And I'm just going to pop a Dragon Claw into this. Yeah, I'm, I'm Terror in the fire. I think it's our best bet. Because I cannot deal with the fighting moves. I really cannot. We know Mimikyu has Strain Punch. We know this thing has every fighting move in the book. <laughs> so we have to Terror in the fire here. We have to Terror in the fire. Because I'm going to need my our, our ball over here. Just lead seed and kind of HP recovering from there. So I'm going to Terrasize this Pokemon. Olive Tree getting after it. Changing into Fire Typing, which I absolutely love. I'm going to go from there. Maybe I should have protected it, but I don't think it's a bad turn for us. Dragon Claw is going to fly. Chip up some nice damage, which is beautiful. And he's going to go for a Phantom Force. So he's dipping again. I don't I don't mind the Phantom Force turns. I really don't. We're going to see Rage Fist coming in here. Okay, so he's going to take me out. Kind of cool with that. And we're going to pop a Revival Blessing next turn. This actually might be able to do a decent amount of damage here. It's Arbalova. Oh, I went for a Leech Seed. I thought I went for Giga Dream. But I'm, I'm down for the Seed, yo. I love setting up Leech Seeds. Leech Seed coming out here. This against Leftovers, too. Palmont, I am going to... Who do I revive here? I feel like Gambit's got to be the revive Pokemon, correct? Gambit has got to be the revive Pokemon. Our ball about ripping with the seeds. Oh, dude, I love Leech Seed. <laughs> One of my favorite moves, yo. Especially using it on the rank ladder. It's just so much fun to set up. And we have Terrain, too. We have a constant stream of HP. Did I get to bring out Paul Mott. Love Misa Paul Mott. No need for fake out. We're just gonna revive a blessing here. And I'm just gonna Giga Drain down into this slot, correct? We're not Giga Drain down into you. Hmm. I'm just gonna Giga Drain into this thing, and I'm just gonna go for that revival blessing. And I'm gonna try to get bring back our our what's it called. Ah, right, that's fine. He protects. We get off a free revival blessing. And I can start nuzzling too. Revival blessing. We get back our King Gambit. I love this move. I love this move. Come here, Gambit. Get get back here, Gambit. <laughs> now we got Gambit. We have the seed set up, so protecting is kind of just hurting him at this point. Phantom Force came into us. We were able to soak it pretty well. Giga Drain is gonna get protected. Arbalaba. I knew this would be a good pick for this for this battle. I really did. Once we got rid of that Miascarada, now we're just set up. Good. You guys can get a little bit of HP back. We got this lovely uh, Leech Seed coming in here. And now he's getting a little bit too much HP back considering it's just <laughs> it's just chilling there with uh, with uh, leftovers. But Leech Seed's phenomenal. It's, it basically just keeps my, keeps my boy alive this whole time. Arbalaba. And then I have Giga Drain too. Plus this terrain. And terrain's gone now. Now, can a seed sour twice? That's the real question. That's something I really want to know. Can a seed sour twice? And I'm not gonna Giga Drain you. I am going to paralyze the. I'm gonna paralyze you. I'm gonna go from there. Uh, I should actually went after Nile because this thing could just fan and force and dodge another move. Big mistake on my turn. Big big mistake. Big old mistake. This is a great battle though. Yeah, definitely should just Giga Drain into the Nihilate. We're going to hope that uh, Mimikyu kind of stays in here. But I doubt it. It's been popping Phantom Force all day. Maybe we'll drop a nice little nuzzle. We got a big time Paralyze on that thing. I'm loving it. And we'll go from there. Yeah, Phantom Force. See, again, terrible play by me. Terrible play by me. I think he takes out my Palm Mott with a Rage Fist. Actually, Rage Fist is scaring me a lot. But again, we have our boy here. We do have my... Uh, my Sucker Punch boy here, which I love. Now, I'm just going to throw Sucker Punches into the Annihilate. Until it attacks me, and then go after it that way. I mean, it could protect this turn, but we're just going to Giga Drain into, uh... We're just going to Giga Drain. Actually, we do not need to protect. There's no need for us to protect. Right? Palma just outsped that Annihilate, and you're one... Oh, wait, you're 172. <laughs> That's fast. That's really fast. That's really fast. I was gonna say, can we just go into a Cathal Cleave in case he wants to like swap or something like that? Well, my strength is through the roof. I can hit like so hard right now. But Giga Drain this time will go into you and I'm just gonna go for the Sucker Punch. We're going right into the Sucker Punch. We're gonna hope he's going for a Rage Fist or something. Beautiful, he does. That should, oh, it does not take him out. That hurts the soul. That one hurts. Span of Force, we're gonna be able to soak. That one hurts. And I think Leech Seed might be able to pick up the KO onto this, uh, Annihilate. It's gonna get leftovers first, but I think Leech Seed does a bit more damage than than others. 
He's paralyzed. That's a huge turn. That's a huge turn from us. That paralyzed just came in clutch. He's going to get leftovers HP, but again, I think Leechy does a bit more than leftovers, right? And it should be able to pick up the KO. That would be ridiculously big. Arbalava? Leech Seed OP? Did I take it out? Did I KO it? I did not get to see. Yo, Arbalava MVP here in match number two. Absolutely killing it with that, uh, with the Leech Seed. I was terrified of that because if that thing would have Rage Fist into my Arbalava, that probably would have KO'd it. But I'm super surprised he wasn't able to KO. And of course, Pelper's going to be the final Pokemon. That kind of hurts the soul. I could protect here. But I think just going for a Giga Drain might be my play. Actually, let, let's let's actually protect here. Let's actually protect. And we'll go for a Kalta Cleave or Sucker Punch. So we just Sucker Punch. Get off as much damage as we can. Because if he does go after my boy here, they're going to be in trouble. We are going to be in trouble. So Terrestrialization is going to happen here. Oh, God. What, what are you tearing through? Straight water? Straight flying? Straight flying. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I mean, it kind of does me dirty with my only hitting move. I'm just going to protect my Arbalava. Hopefully he's going after that just so we can get off a lot of value here. Sucker Punch coming in here. Bang. Oh my lord. Supreme Overlord with a crit. Insane. He goes for a Surf. Can you eat this up? I think we lose this battle if you don't eat this. You eat it. I love you. GG's. Let's go. Let's go. Giga Drink can now fly here. We're going to go for constant Sucker Punches. And that's game, set, and match. Game, set, and match. Revival, Blessing, and Arbalava coming in clutch in match number two. What a second battle. That battle alone deserves it. Like, that was a nice, long, drawn-out battle. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that one. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for a perfect record. Going up against a meta like Rock team with flying terrestrialized T-Tar. You get to see that a lot, usually, when you're playing up against these teams. And then they have Annihilate, Dragonite, Dragapult, and Amuga. So, this team's actually looking very, very tough to play up against. Very scary, to be honest with you guys. How should I play it? How should I get after it? Um, I'm liking Palma as lead. I feel like Fake Out Control is going to be ridiculously huge. I also do like Gambit. I really do like Gambit here. So I'm going to lead Gambit. I'm going to lead Palma. I am going to bring in... Hmm. Who would be better? Who's faster? Who is faster? Probably you, right? 165. And what are you? <clears throat> You're 107. You do have the E speed, but two ghost type Pokemon. I don't really like it. Dragapult's obviously going to be faster than all of them. But I do have the Poison Terra. So I'm going to go Choice Specs, Hydreigon, and then final Pokemon. Maybe Rock Out with you. I kind of dig the Fire typing. But it's kind of scary at the same time because he has two Rock type Pokemon. Maybe I'll just bring Arbalava. I'm going to bring Arbalava. I love this Pokemon. Arbalava rocks. Especially, you guys seen it in match number two. <clears throat> Absolutely thrive. Now, once you get double Leech Seed set up, like one Leech Seed is good. Double Leech Seed is... OP broken. You cannot let Pokemon set up double lead seed unless you have a Pokemon that can one-shot it. Because if not, they're just going to protect stall you and just easily win that match. Like, you did not see Arbalava after the Citrus Berry fall below half. It was just thriving after. But they go Annihilate. They go in with Double Ghost. I cannot fake out. Kind of sucks. Kind of don't like it. Um, I got to Sucker Punch somebody, right? And I'm going to slow down Pult. I'm going to Sucker Punch. Actually, I might just Sucker Punch Pult. Actually, I'm going to Sucker Punch you. I'm going to Sucker Punch you, and I'm going to Nuzzle the Pole. I'm all bad. And the reason I want to Sucker Punch Annihilate is in case it wants to go for a Gambit right into my, uh, a final Gambit into my King Gambit. Then it won't, it won't just straight up, uh, kill it. So he's going to end up terrestrializing that, hoping the Sucker Punch isn't coming into me. And I still get off this Nuzzle, which I really like. I am scared of the Dragon Dart slash Draco Meteors here. Definitely a scary little, little sight. But Sucker Punch is still going to fly and chip up some nice damage onto that Annihilate. Going for the Gambit, he is. So again, this is the reason why we did it. We can survive this now. He dies out. And he's probably going after my Palma, which I don't mind, because Palma can easily survive here and get this nuzzle off onto Dragon Pole. D darts. Okay. Kind of scary. Again, Palma automatically survives with the sash. And can you eat this up? I'm hoping you can eat this up. You can. I love you. I love you, Gambit. Nuzzle fl flying out here. Get the little para. Not a bad first turn. Not a bad first turn. Not a bad first turn at all. At all. Because now my Hydreigon outspeeds that thing, no matter what. That's big time plays. That's big time plays. So Lycanroc comes out here next. I could see a hard swap coming out from... From that that Pokemon right there. So I might just hard swap into Arbalava. Just save my fake out slash revival busting for later. 
And then just drop a Sucker Punch, I think, into you. But I know this Pokemon's Focus Ash, so I'd rather take off the Focus Ash. I'm going to save my Fake Out for later. Maybe ha potentially have the uh, option to pop a Revival Busting later in the match. Could be good for us. We're going to get out our Balba. He's going to straight up protect that thing. That's fine. Another D-Darts is going to fly here. And we should eat it up. He might even be paralyzed this turn, which I would love. Surprised he didn't swap, too. So another d Darch comes in here. Our Bob is going to take a little bit of damage. A lot of bit of damage. But more importantly, we get the Seed Sour out here. Love a little Seed Sour. And we survive on one. Free Focus Ash for Jeans. <laughs> you guys know I love a good old Free Focus Ash. Only when it's happening to me, not my opponents. It's terrible when it's happening to the opponents. Um, Giga Drains are solid here. So I'm going to pop a Giga Drain. And again, I think we just suck a punch. Do I double down on the Lycanroc? He could Terrasilize. I'm just going to go after this thing. I think he's going to swap. Why would I Sucker Punch into the pole? There's just no need for it. Should have doubled down on the Lycanroc. We know Lycanroc's attacking. Okay, that's fine though. But wow. Some some damage. Some damage. Comet comes in here and that KOs me all day. Actually, it does not. Can you not go for Dragon Darts? Or Arbalva? Can you outspeed, please? Can you outspeed? I don't think you can. We do have Berry, which is amazing. And if we can land this shot, this is some big time damage and some big time HP recovery. No, it goes first. Can you eat this? No, you don't eat this. Soul is hurting. He's going to pick up the double KO. Uh, huh. Hmm. Hmm. What's the play here? What is the play? Probably Revival Busting. We could see Protects come out here. We're going to go for the Revival Busting, not, not for the Fake Out. But I think Palma actually might be fastest on the field. I'm going to go into both these guys. I have the choice into a move, which sucks. And Dark Pulse is probably our play. If I can get a Revival Blessing on a Pokemon like Arbalova, it would probably be nice. Because he has to have T-Tar in the back end. Actually, Gambit might be a better choice. Yeah, I'm going to pop the Revival Blessing, hoping that they go for a... Uh, hoping that they go for more so a... Uh, wait, I should Terra here. I'm going to Terrasize into Poison. Did I get rid of the Pult? I mean, I feel like Pult might be paralyzed this turn. I don't know. I'm not going to get rid of the Pult yet. I think he's waiting for me to get rid of the Pult. But yeah, I have to Terrasize just in case Dragon Leaf comes in hot here. Maybe I should have just taken it out, but I'm hoping, like, this thing's due for a paralyzed turn. It's due to be paralyzed. It is due. It is so due. So we Terrasize in a straight poison. We get that Jolly Roger skull and bones on our head. And he ends up protecting. Okay, that's fine. Again, I kind of predicted somebody to protect just so a revival blessing can come out here. That's gonna work wonders. The real question is who do I who do I pick up here? Because if I had to guess, T-Tar is in the back end, and obviously I would go for Arbalava, like, like up against the T-Tar. But the problem with the T-Tar is it can terrasize into flying, which makes me want to do you. You do have Sucker Punch. You can hit pretty hard. Plus, Supreme Overlord is a nice little is a nice little uh. Nice little ability. So I'm, I'm all about that. He's going to end up going for D darts. Should have taken him out. That could have been big time. And we'll go from there. Wow, that did a little bit too much damage. That did too much damage. He takes us both out. Oh, dude, this is so hard. I hate this game. We're definitely losing this battle. Uh, I can sucker punch and KO. I can sucker punch and KO easily onto the... The Dragapult. And I think I left that Pokemon in way too long. Yeah, and sucker punch this KO. We know Sucker Punch KO, so I'm just going to stick with Sucker Punch right you, and I'm just going to Dark Pulse. I'm going to Dark Pulse, but I think this match is over. I, th I think we waited too long to get rid of the Dragapult here. Sucker Punch comes out here, picks up the KO, no problem, and we'll roll out from there. But again, mm, not looking good. Not looking good. We are choice specs, but again, this thing is probably Focus Ash, and he's going to combat my boy down. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. His defense does drop, but we're going to bring it down to Sash. It's going to be over. Because once that T-Tar comes out, he's going to be able to outspeed me and finish me off. Dark Pulse flying here. Well, I think the only way we win this match is like... If he misses moves. But yeah, it's just not looking good. Not looking good whatsoever. I bet, yeah, we lost this battle because... Uh, a, we didn't take out that Dragon Pulse fast enough. And B, I think we got protected twice by that Lycanroc. Which was solid, play, solid plays on uh, our opponent's end. 
But this is hamstring finally. It's going to uh, I feel like we have to we have to take this thing out and hope for a miss attacks if we want a re even a, a remote chance of winning this battle. But I don't think they miss a shot. I think you just pick up the easy kill onto me and we go two and one for today's video. We'll see. But yo, I love this team. This was a great set of battles. End of war is going to come out here, bring me down to ten, and yeah, now it's just GG. Now it's just GG. Unless you miss, right? Can we eat up a? Oh no, it has assurance. I was gonna say, can we eat up a sand buffet? But they didn't even miss this attack. It's all good. Two one for today's video. Almost a perfect record. Solid battles all around. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful set of three battles for today's video. And this team right here, I had so much fun using on the rank ladder. Tons of fun and really strong at the same time. You got the Palmot with the Fake Out and the Re Revival Blessing. You got the Double Dragon with Dragonite and Hydreigon to get some big attacks going. Then you got King Gambit, Arbalava, and Volcarona who can do their own thing in their own way. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.